Hello. Welcome to my channel. In this lecture we'll go over subdivisions options in the Multiers modifier. Let's press Shift A and add a monkey head. That will be our base mesh. It has 507 vertices right now. We want to add extra subdivision levels. To do this, let's add multi-resolution modifier, then, click on the subdivide button three times. So we have added three extra subdivision levels. Now, our mesh has 31,658 vertices. Let's enable wireframe mode to see. But if optimal display option here is enabled, it will display only the edges of the original geometry. To see our new subdivided edges, we have to disable this option. Now, we can preview each level of detail in the level viewport option here. If we turn that back down zero, we can turn back to our base mesh. We can set the level of subdivisions to use in sculpt mode here. For example let's set the level to zero and go to sculpting mode. We can sculpt the mesh in the base mesh level now. Also we can increase the preview level to see more detailed levels of the mesh. Let's delete monkey head and add new one. Then, let's add Multiers modifier. Now, if you want to subdivide your mesh without any smoothing, you have to press the simple or linear buttons. Here we go. The delete higher button is used to delete all subdivision levels that are higher than the current one. Now, we have three subdivision levels. Now if we want to delete third subdivision level, we should set the level viewport to 2 and press the delete higher button. There we go. Our the highest subdivision level is 2 now. The unsubdivide button rebuild a lower subdivision level of the current base mesh. Let's turn back to our base mesh level and press unsubdivide. As you have noticed, we have got an error message. Let's set the level viewport to 2 again and apply the Multiers modifier. Now, that's our base mesh. Let's add Multiers modifier and press unsubdivide button. Here we go. It works now. Thanks for watching. See you in the next tutorial.